victory yesterday does Shane Collins we can see here in the blue triangle choke victory coming off of a series of submission attempts first he goes for the anaconda choke transitions into the guillotine and then immediately into the triangle choke uh, absolute savage off of his back will look to possibly implement some of that grappling against Team Ireland's jo Jordan Bradshaw or will it be the fact that their grappling negates each other and we will see a striking contest between these two men Twenty-two year old Shane Collins from Team USA making his way into the cage in the blue corner. Taking on the twenty-four year old Jordan Bradshaw out of Team Ireland in the red corner. I do believe both these men, these gentlemen, heavily favor grappling or finishing in the grappling department which could be either a super fun scrambly fight on the ground or perhaps a super interesting kickboxing match as they're grappling against each other. Team Ireland takes center cage. Southpaw for the Irish. Scoring some points is Bradshaw out of Team Ireland. Collins out of Team USA also willing to dance though. Oh, nice little switch kick there. A little Taekwondo background perhaps. Oh, nice one too down the pipe by Bradshaw. Probably looking to set up some of those kicks we've seen previously. Oh, spinning back, back fist there. Needs to be careful not to hit with the forearm or elbow, as those are forbidden techniques. Ooh, one two there from Shane Collins immediately in on the hips. Nicely done. Level change by the Team USA. Collins looking to pass here into half guard. Hard to see from here, but does appear he is successful in doing so. It is Jordan Bradshaw with the tricky guard yet again. Looking to diminish any opportunity to regain posture for the American Collins. Nice punching or oh, ground and pound for Collins here. Bradshaw now looking to secure an arm. Unsuccessful in doing so. And receiving a couple of blows for the effort. Collins with the heavy top pressure here. Persistent in his pinning pressure here is Collins. Perhaps was looking to advance into the mount. But Bradshaw very dynamic with his hooks here. Turns to the turtle position does Bradshaw. Giving up his back. Looking to bump off Collins though. Shaking off, shaking him off. But Collins ha having double underhooks here could possibly remain. Nope, he lets it go. Goes for the, what looks like a modified Suliev stretch of sorts, perhaps. He needs to keep those double underhooks if he doesn't want to slide off. He's adjusted really well though with the hooks. Does seem that that might be enough for him to stay on the back. Goes for the reverse triangle, perhaps. Look at that. A few seconds left. There it is. Two crafty grapplers going head to head. Team Ireland's Jordan Bradshaw taking on Shane Collins. The significant takedown there of Collins might be what scored the round in his favor.
Bradshaw here taking deep breaths. If I were Bradshaw here, I probably wouldn't necessarily be as willing to sit down to guard. Not saying Collins didn't convince him and did a had a really compelling argument with the top pressure. I do believe, though, Bradshaw would benefit from looking to be more aware of those takedowns, probably keep his distance more. Not allowing Shane Collins to get in on his hips. Ooh, nice head kick set up there by Bradshaw. Nicely done. Could probably benefit from keeping it more in the striking department. Goes in on a single leg though here. And it is Collins with a knee tap. Gets reversed, although ends up on top. Immediately passes to half guard does Collins. With the double underhooks. A solid position here to be able to pass even further if he'd like. Preferably, I think, into the mount position. We'll see here if he can get that left knee around the other knee of, oh, it goes to side position. Nicely done with the leg pummeling of Shane Collins. Goes to the turtle, does Bradshaw. Looks to get his legs underneath him. Looks for a roll. Might have exposed his back on the way. Yup. Collins goes for the body triangle. This is a tough spot for Bradshaw. Bradshaw looking for those short punches a la Alexander Volkanovsky while having his back taken. Although, one and a half minute work here for Shane Collins. Bradshaw would benefit from trying to defeat that body triangle. Try to get his hips underneath the uh, left knee of Collins. Collins giving him a hell of a time here. Trying to secure the rear naked choke. He's also on an angle where he could possibly let go of that left leg and throw up a arm bar if he could secure the right arm of Bradshaw. Look, it's flattened out his opponent here with the rear naked choke pressure. Could this be it? Shane Collins almost under the neck. Doesn't have to be under the neck, though. The pressure could be enough. Doesn't seem like it is the right angle, though, to apply the pressure. Great job by Jordan Bradshaw in defending. Looking to get up back to his knees, although he might find himself flattened out yet again, though. Pounding away is Shane Collins hanging on with that body triangle. What a terrible position to be in. Huge efforts here from Jordan Bradshaw to get back to his feet. Shane Collins insisting on getting that arm underneath the chin of Jordan Bradshaw to secure that rear naked choke. Might end up gassing his legs here if he doesn't get it. 15 seconds left to work. It's got to take a toll on those legs of Collins. Jordan Bradshaw doing a good job here of surviving, eating away at the clock to make it to the third round. Pretty hard position to get out of the body triangle like that while you're facing the mat. Have to favor Collins in this round as well with the reversal of the takedown and as well as the significant striking from the back. Control time for sure. It has to go to Collins as well. Bradshaw now, I think, I do believe he needs to go look for a finish. Unless the first round was in his favor as well, he might get away with a split decision here in the third as the legs of Collins might have been a bit gassed from that body triangle, which he insisted on keeping for pressure, which of course could have led to a rear naked choke. We'll see here in the third and final round between Ireland's Jordan Bradshaw taking on Team USA's Shane Collins. The third and final round. I do expect Bradshaw to keep it on the feet. Look to stick and move now. Set up those beautiful kicks of his. Nice kick of Shane Collins, of course, as well. Nice one, too, from Collins. There he goes. Bradshaw needs more of those kicks. Ooh, front snap kick to the gut. 
takedown attempt from Bradshaw. Gets countered by Collins. Doing a good job of pinning Bradshaw here to the cage. Looking to get that single high crotch perhaps. Nice knees by Bradshaw, softening Collins up. No, he needs to start working on a reversal from here. Not a good position to be striking offensively from. Although disruptive, might not be enough this far into the match. Huge pressure here from Collins. Might want to look to a level change here soon. But Bradshaw, of course, doing a great job of keeping upright with that overhook of his, denying him any ability to clasp his hands. Though he might have found the body lock. Hard to tell from here. Looking to slam his opponent with one and a half minute left on the clock. Looking to put an exclamation on his performance does Shane Collins out of Team USA. Jordan Bradshaw here needs to get desperate. There's one minute left on the clock. Keeping that pressure is Shane Collins. The referee might just ask for more activity soon because the activity is not lacking at the moment, though. There he goes with the high crotch yet again. Bradshaw finds his knees underneath him. Works to get up. Relentless with the pressure is Shane Collins doing a great job of pinning Bradshaw here up against the cage. Probably going to look to transition to the back from here. Indeed, he does. 20 seconds to work. Will he find the finish? Had a hard time in the second round as Jordan Bradshaw had excellent defense, but he has a body triangle now. Could look to pound his opponent out perhaps. Yeah, there he goes. Working the ground and pound. Huge punches here. Transitions to that arm bar we talked about earlier. Looking to secure the finish, does not get it. Great performance by Shane Collins. Excellent defense, of course, by Jordan Bradshaw, but I think the American was just a bit too much today. What a prospect we have on our hands in Shane Collins. Looks super promising as a lightweight contender, possibly moving on to the quarterfinals. Not writing Jordan Bradshaw off, but I doubt that he did enough in the judge's eyes the official decision will tell us more There you go. Shane Collins from Team USA. 